Welcome to One Pizza Too Many. Cooking and unboxing videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel One Pizza Too Many Cooking and Unboxing Videos. Now today I'm doing an unboxing video of the Ninja Blender and Soup Maker. So let's jump into this. Now the first thing you'll notice it's a nice compact size, not too big. So let's just read the information on the box to you. If I come round Okay, so we have, it says that it can do chunky soups, smooth soups, sauces, jams, smoothies, frozen drinks, milkshakes, desserts. It can chop and saute. Okay, so it says, the Ninja Blender Soup Maker for delicious hot and cold creations. Cook soup in 20 minutes. Building in, built in heat element, rapidly cooks ingredients from raw. Powerful blending, high speed crushing blade blends both hot and cold recipes. Pre-cooked programs, hassle-free prep with chop and saute functions. So it's 100 watt, it'll hold 1.7 litres, heat resistant glass and it's got an auto stir function with an inbuilt heating element. As we turn it round, it gives you a breakdown of everything that you get in the box basically. So you get an instruction guide, the main base with the motor and obviously it says hassle-free cleaning. Um, it's got the big blender and it's got a heating element in the base of the actual jug. It's got a safe cleaning brush to clean the blade. Um, it's got the main jug itself, a pusher to tamper down bits into the soup, the lid and a measuring cup which also is the stopper on the lid. So let's open this up and see what we've got but before we do that if you like what you see make sure you hit that thumbs up and the obviously bell to get notifications of when I release a new video and you subscribe to the channel it's really easy to subscribe to the channel just follow the simple video that's playing next to me here and you're all good to go so what we're going to do now just run the knife carefully along the tape along the top of the box and I should have said I did buy this from Ninja not been given it as a demo model or anything all the products I've got on my channel I paid for out of my own money. So first of all, we have the instruction book or recipe book. Now, we will go through this in a little bit more detail afterwards, but this is how they kind of look. The recipes so nice and easy simple to follow and we will be doing some recipes throughout January in the soup maker itself so make sure you're tuned in for those then we have the user guide so box number one Three. So let's open this first box up, shall we? So there's a little tab for that. Lift it open. And this is the base or motor of the actual unit. There we go. Unlike my other Ninja Blender, so the IQ smart screen. Uh, blender. There's a video to the unboxing video to that just above me. Uh, it's got the nice rubber feet and it's got a nice wipeable flat screen. It's not um, it's not a touch screen like the other blender, but it has got some nice nice buttons. And on top, it's got the sensors and it's got the motor attachment itself. It does also have a little. QR code on the back to make sure you, you can register your product with Ninja for the warranty. 
Oh, that's the base. Box number two. It's exciting. It's like Christmas, even though it was only a few days ago. Here we have the jug. And it is a glass jug because it's going to get hot and it does say do not submerge glass pitcher or place glass in the dishwasher this will damage the built-in heating element so this is not dishwasher safe however the lid a little measuring cup little measure on the side and also allows you to put stuff in whilst it whilst it's cooking so that is dishwasher safe Um, it does say to keep cap in place when blending, yeah. Very true. We, we don't want you wearing it all. Okay, and then to remove the lid. It's got a nice big rubber seal. And the blade, the blade's pretty hefty. Nice. And it has also got the warning about the dishwasher on the bottom as well. So let's get this hooked up. So it's simple, it just pushes on, there's no twisting or anything like that, like on the other blenders, just pushes straight on. And then the lid pushes on, and this top piece, this bezel, okay, spins round and locks into place. We also have, we also have the brush for cleaning because you don't want your little fingers going anywhere near that blade. So let's get it plugged in and have a look at it working. Before we get it wearing away, I forgot the other box, the third box. Let's have a look. Pull the tab, open it up and it will just pull out to there. And this is the tamper down so what this does lift the middle section out this fits in and you can tamper stuff down but you'll I don't know if you can see that sticker on inside it doesn't go all the way down to the blade so you know that it's safe you're not gonna be touching the blade with it that's that right let me come round and We'll have a look at the functions. Okay, so let's press the on button. It says hello. And it has got a clean setting, which is really good. You can keep it on, keep the seat warm. Um, so let's just pretend we're chopping. So let's press chop. <laughs> time has come up for 12 seconds and it's done two whizzes around so far and three and it said it's done so it has got a it's got the usual ninja sound effects as well which is good here we have the different settings so we've got the on button and we've got the clean button then to blend it says we've got smoothie frozen drinks desserts and milkshakes for cooking we have smooth soups, chunky soups, jam and sauce. Before you start cooking you have chop and you also have saute which I think is going to be a really good option because I'm actually going to try doing some different sauces like uh, curry based sauce things like that in this so the fact that we can saute first will add a depth of flavour into your dish. Then manual you can blend or cook manually and then you can pulse and you have low, medium and high settings so there we have it everyone the ninja blender and soup maker let me know what you think if you got one of these what's your favorite soup for cooking in it give me some ideas i'm going to be also doing some videos in january because we're going to be doing a healthy january because obviously that's what january is all about i know i put too much weight on over christmas with my belly so i'm going to be doing a healthy january using some of the ninja products so the grill the foodie the soup maker let me know what you'd like to see me cook 
on the channel and I'll do my best to accommodate you. Leave me a comment below with your favourite items that you like to cook. So until next time, thanks for watching. See you later. One pizza too many.